Hey guys, welcome to Outlaw Edge. So this morning, what I'm working on right now is that 63 unibody, and uh, there's a bunch of patch panels that I gotta do on this thing, and what I'm gonna do is I'll flip the camera around and show you what I'm working on. So on this, uh, there's some pieces like right here, you can see some holes, and then the next ones, these are kind of complicated here. And what I did is I took, took the hammer and kind of followed up that, and you can see right here, when I'm tapping, that, you know, it's, there's some rust up in there, so this is gonna be a bitch to pull out of there and fix. So the first one I'm doing right now is I blew all this dirt and crap out of there and I took the hammer and I walked it along here and you can see it comes all the way back to here. There was a hole here, I already filled that. All this is nice and strong, so when this gets primered, it'll be uh, strong. I'm making a paper template that's gonna go over the top of this. And what I'm doing is I'm marking right here where these lines are, this will be where you gotta shrink this panel and uh, so it's gonna be sh shrunk like this on the, on the, it'll be a raised edge here. And then this is kind of a, you know, there's a compound curve or whatever you wanna call it here. It's, it comes down here and then plus it's gonna go up like this. And I'll go ahead and start building that panel. So the next thing I'm gonna do right now is uh, I'll get the pattern drawn on this piece of metal and I just grab a piece of uh, scrap so I don't have to worry about wasting good metal. It's already got a little bit of a curve in it, but that's not gonna matter. And this is, uh, I know somebody's gonna ask, this is 20 gauge sheet metal. Which is pretty much the same as what that floor is. And then what I'm gonna do here, just kind of a, half-ass guesstimate I'll run it about five-eighths or so put a line on that and I can go ahead and get this cut out actually I'm gonna run over here to the shear and do that move you guys with me Sorry about the crappy camera work. This uh, Beverly shear that I'm using came from Harbor Freight. So I wanna thank Harbor Freight for that, but uh, highly recommended. Makes your life easier. You know, where that would have taken a couple minutes to cut out with the uh, shears, the aviation snips. This is usually what I use, but you can see how fast that cuts it out. So the next thing we got is we have our paper pattern. We know at this line right here, it's got to fold up like that. And if you take and push your hand down on here where it's flat, you know, that's also going to have a, have a bend right here. So I can mark that or I can just, you know, freeform it. And that's mostly what I want to do, but I'll get this bent up and, and then, uh, and then also break this edge right here where this is going to be so that it comes up this, uh, this, uh, you know, where not only form, but shape, like we were just talking about on a video the other night. So we'll go from there. So the next thing we're going to do is I'm going to take this hammer here. And you can see that end. And I'm gonna start running that right down that line, hammering so that it brings that end up where I want it. And you know, you can just bend this with a pair of pliers or whatever, but I'd like to get a nice crisp, clean line on that. You can put this in a metal brake. But to be honest, I mean, you know, most of these shapes on uh, most vehicles, you can do with a, uh, Sorry about the camera work. Most of these shapes you can do with uh, hammers and dolly and, and build what you need. Um, obviously, this hammer here is one of them that I'll be using. This is one that I bought years ago. This is a real old hammer, but I broke the handle a bunch of times. <clears throat> and uh, this hammer here, this is one of them sheetrock axes. And then I smoothed and rounded this edge here. And then I took the sheetrock axe part and I just cut it clean off. And it makes a really nice body hammer. 
So if you're at swap meets or whatever and you find a hammer you want, you know, don't be afraid to mod your hammers to the job that you're doing. And you'll get like me where you have 10,000 hammers and you have, you know, pretty much a hammer for every job. So it helps out. <clears throat> so, uh, yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do is I'll end up just forming it this way. And then like on this one here, it's got a flat side. And then this one here has a radius side. I'll use that radius side. And I'm gonna just use the beater bag to beat that down into it. Actually, I wanna use this one first. And then what I'll do is I'll start uh, laying this in the truck. I'll see how this fits. And eventually I'll just, you know, build that shape until I get it where I want it. Now, this is where it's gonna get real tricky. You have this piece of metal bent this way. Now take that same piece of metal and bend it this way now. That's where people get confused. And that's where your shrinker stretcher comes in handy. So I'm gonna draw a line right here. I'll put it in the truck, I'll draw a line. And then when I figure out how much I want to bend it, I'll go over to the shrinker stretcher and we'll either shrink or stretch the shape that we need to get that in there. So I got my line where I want it to be. So right there where that line crosses this round part, that's where I want it to bend, which in turn it's going to be shrunk. Because if you take material out of the center of here, it's going to take this panel and bend it up like this. And that's what we want. And you know, you could put you could put some relief cuts in there and, and bend that panel up like this, but that's not what I wanna do. I wanna do this all in one piece. So we're gonna put this on the shrinker and see if we can get the shape that we need. And you see it's starting to bring that panel up. And now that this part right here, you can see it's starting to bend, doing the radius. But this part right here, I'm gonna have to help that a little bit. So I'm gonna take a hammer and tap that, and then I'll, I'll shrink this some more, and then tap this and shrink this some more. Same, same thing, you wanna use that radius side on this hammer to do that. And then now this is almost, you know, at like a 45 or something, but I want this to be a smooth radius. So the next thing I'll do is I'll run that hammer across here and smooth it out. And, and what that's doing is that's gonna give it a nice crown like this or a nice radius. And then right here on the end, it needs to be shrunk more. So we'll go back over to the shrinker. And you can see that panel is doing this now, and that's what we want. Now we'll go ahead and go back over to the truck and see how it fits. Don't mind the camera.
Sorry about the camera work. That's actually really good. The way it's sitting in there right now, I'll go ahead and uh, bring the camera down here so you can see. So in full time, I mean, it's taken, you know, just minutes to do this. And you can see that this back radius right here is starting to get pretty close. You can see it's matching pretty close right here in the front. Obviously this lip's bent up right here. I could just bend that, bend that over. Um, somebody's gonna ask what, what gauge sheet metal am I using? This is 20 gauge here. This is 20 gauge here. So I'm just matching up the panels. And then when I get this all made, then what I'll do is I'll just cut this out where I want it and go from there, put it back in there. But you know, don't be afraid to uh, try to mimic these panels by you know using hammers and dollies and whatever until you get it until you get it to where you want it. So I'm gonna go ahead and mess around with this and try to hammer and dolly and get this smooth. And then when I get it laying in there, I'll film some more. Doing a job like this, a post dolly is your friend. You know, if you if you can afford to get the metal to make you know to buy a set of. Uh, post dollies or get the metal to build a set of post dollies, all different shapes and sizes, that'll really help out right there. Um, another thing that I highly suggest, thank you, Tim. Good friend of ours sent this, uh, one of our YouTube uh, buddies sent this, and this is a mini beater bag, and it's a lead shot beater bag. And I use a lead shot and sand shot, or sand, a sand filled beater bag, and, I, and this is a lead shot beater bag. And these are very handy, and they're, you know, for different uses. And just real quick, I started hammering on the post dolly and I'm using the post dolly to get that shape in there. But you don't need a post dolly. That just makes your life easier. If you have hammers and dollies, don't forget that you can do it with hammers and dollies also. This radius right here is getting very close. So I'll keep doing that on a smaller post dolly until I get it to where it fits in there just right. This is all looking good, laying flat. This is getting real close. This radius here, sorry about the blurry camera. And then you can see that I got to work on this corner a little bit. And what I'll do is I'll put that on the post dolly and work on that. You can see I have a post dolly here in the uh, anvil. And these are all different sizes and shapes and whatever. These really help too when you have the different shapes and sizes. And then here I have, uh, this one is three eighths and this one I believe is quarter inch. Smaller and bigger and whatever. And then I have some of them that, you know, if you have the angled ones like this, that helps in uh, getting shapes like that. You can see it almost mimics, mimics that shape right there. You know, you gotta be real, uh, you gotta do a lot of thinking when you're doing metal work. And uh, that's what I like, you know, it's a challenge. And you gotta figure out which hammer you need, which hammer you wanna use with that. And then, you know, you get to shape that hammer you use a hammer to shape that piece of metal around those post dollies. But like I said, you could also do it with a hammer and dolly. right now is I'm just planishing smooth because the shape is pretty much there it's pretty close and then you know I'll try to get some of these marks out but I'm not gonna worry about them too much um, this floor is gonna be uh, real clean looking but it, it'll also get some uh, undercoating on it so it's gonna be hidden pretty good So that's looking pretty good except for the uh, hammer marks. 
and then I'll go ahead and go get it. I'll get the panel fit and I'll see how it looks and go from there. And then uh, when I get ready to weld it in or whatever, and you know, uh, maybe I'll show you how to weld it in or whatever. Maybe I'll do that on another video. We'll see what happens. Well, I appreciate you guys watching my video. Um, it's starting to get a little bit late tonight and uh, it's starting to get dark. I'm gonna go home and have some dinner. And uh, I got a bunch of little spots welded up on this truck today. And I will probably do this in another video when I get that panel welded in there and metal finished or whatever I decide to do with it. As you can see right below the back side of the truck here, that panel needs to be done. And I might work on doing that tomorrow because I want to get this thing in primer. And I've been working real hard on trying to get all the other spots done. So if I can get that welded in and get this patch panel welded in here, um, I have about uh, probably five other real small patches and I'll kind of do some videos on those and show you the, uh, the update on the unibody project. But anyways, I'm going to get out of here. I appreciate you guys watching. If you have any comments, leave them down below. I try to answer all my comments. Please go check out our other channel and that's NZ Mopar Outlaw Customs. Thanks for watching. Later.